me today. I really appreciate you hearing my request. I have introduced House Res 57. This, these are articles of impeachment on President Biden uh, for abuse of power in regards to his, his willingness to use his position of power to aid his son, Hunter Biden, and their business dealings. I've also introduced another article of impeachment on President Biden, which is HRES 597. This has to do with the national security crisis that President Biden has created with regards to the extreme threat at the southern border. I've introduced House Res 598, articles of impeachment on President Biden in regards to the failure in Afghanistan. And I've introduced House Res 596, uh, articles of impeachment on President Biden for the COVID eviction moratorium and his willingness to use his position uh, to try to do what he shouldn't be doing. We have three branches of power. Now, this is not an issue that is just important to me. This is an issue that's important to the American people. You see, the American people in polling just recently, there's a range between 60% of Americans that say that Joe, Joe Biden should be impeached, but it goes as high as 83% of Republicans des think President Biden deserves to be impeached. 58% of independents and 40% of Democrats agreeing that President Biden should be impeached for his failures to the American people as president. Let's talk about some of those failures. We can talk about the border alone. You see, here we have, and let's just talk about criminals coming across the border. U.S. Border Patrol has apprehended 9,728 illegal aliens with criminal records just in fiscal year 2021 in comparison to only 2,438 in 2020. This is a 325.8% increase in migrant encounters. It's up to 1.7 million migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border in fiscal year 2021, which ended in September. This is a massive increase in President Biden's failures to provide security for the American people. Also, Border Patrol agents arrested 53 illegal aliens with sex-related criminal convictions, and many of them had prior convictions for crimes involving a minor. In the same period in 2020, agents apprehended 58. In 2019, they apprehended 58 in total. 55, I'm sorry, 55 in 2020, 58 in 2019 but 353 in 2021, that is a massive increase. Let's talk about these types of convictions. These convictions include forcible sexual assault, sexual assault of a child under 14, sexual conduct with a person under 13, statutory rape, second degree sexual assault of a child, and lewd acts with a minor. Del Rio sector in Texas, they have seen 3,166% increase in arrest of convicted sex offenders compared to the same time frame last year. This is a threat to the American people, and Joe Biden is failing on his job. We could go on and on with the statistics and the numbers, but I think plenty of people have done that already. So let's talk about what is the presidential oath of office. Joe Biden swore an oath. He said, I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and I will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and he is failing to uphold his oath. You see, Article 4, Section 4, says that the U.S. guarantees each state against invasion. Joe Biden is failing the American people by refusing to uphold the law and the Constitution. But Afghanistan is where it really hurt. You see, Article 3, sex, Section 3, Joe Biden could be guilty of treason. Our law says that levying war against the U.S., adhering to the enemies of the U.S., and giving aid and comfort is treason. President Biden did that by arming the Taliban with our taxpayer-funded U.S. equipment and weapons. He abandoned Americans in Afghanistan and seems to have no interest in getting them back. And only worse, he failed to ignore the intel 
that there was going to be an ISIS bomber and 13 of our soldiers were killed. I asked this committee to bring my articles of impeachment forward in hearings and markup, and I thank you very much for your time.